In this video, we'll state part two of the fundamental theorem of calculus. Let's start with a reminder of some stuff that's come before. When we wanted to motivate finding an area under a curve, the example we used was a speed. The area under a speed curve is the distance the object travels. Well, speed is not identical to, but is closely related to the velocity function. And the antiderivative of a velocity function is the positions fun position function. And of course, the object's position and the distance that it travels are closely related. So and let's try that again. A function's antiderivatives or indefinite integral, if we prefer, should be related to the area under the functions curve. Another way of saying this, indefinite integrals should be related to a definite integrals. In particular, theorem that the derivative of capital F of X be a lower case F of X. That is to say, the indefinite integral of lower case F of X is capital F of X plus C. Then the definite integral from A to B of lower case F of X is the antiderivative evaluated at to B minus the antiderivative evaluated at 
A. We'll wait for another video to do any concrete examples with this. But before I close this video, let's look at one piece of notation. A function with a vertical line next to it and a number up here and down here signifies the following subtraction. We put these numbers into the function and subtract them. And that just gives us another way of writing this. Still to come, we should prove this, and then we should look at some examples.